Hey everybody, this is Adawa from My Game Addiction, and I want to show you how to turn any footprint into a single TC roof bunker. I'll give you some examples right here. You can see we can get in, we can get out, no problem. You can do a two by two, you can do a two by one, whatever you want. And if you're in the middle of a raid, don't panic, you can get right back out to join the action. So I'm going to show you that's a two by two. Here's a simple one by two right here for a solo player. You can see it's got everything you need, including furnaces, and you can get right back out, no problem. It's a double bi-directional entrance, right? Here's a hexagon version right here, 216 HQM for that guy. This guy's 215. Believe it or not, this guy is also 216. Really cheap. And it works with any footprint. All you need are these four triangles at the front right here. Okay, it works with any footprint. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the one on the left and I'm gonna place my TC down. TC first, of course, right? And I'm gonna place mine right here. And you can place your TC in any way you want, but don't mind me. All right. This right here, this wall needs to be rotated just like that. And same thing, this wall right here should be rotated so we get that conditional flap, okay? So now that that's set, put down your door, okay? And of course, use stone for these wall frames, but for this example, I'm going to use sheet metal, okay? And I'm going to have mine rotate inwards like this, just to give us a little bit more room as we're entering and exiting our base. So you could do, you know, 24 rockets if you upgrade these walls. Let's keep this as 15 just for this example. And I'm going to frustrate the raiders just by adding another eight rockets in case they come in through the ceiling eight rockets in order to get RTC. But the point of this video is this roof bunker entrance. So on these first four triangles at the front, you don't have to put your TC there, but what we're gonna do is build in twig. And off this armored one, we're going to come down to the lower height. And basically, you know, this front entrance here, where the gap is, you can count to your left, one, two, three, I'm going to go out this way with eight square foundations, okay? And when we come back, we'll destroy these two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, that way. One, two, three. And then triangles all the way back. Because we have building priv, it's going to be really easy, and there's nothing in our way except for these two. It's fast, stress-free. Okay, this last one, we need it. Keep it. Everything else, just let it decay. Okay, separate it from your base. This is going to decay if you don't connect it. So we're going to connect that in the next couple steps here. All right, so right now that's 15 rockets for the foundation and 15 to 16 to get through here. So we're going to want to make sure that this is rotated so that gap's closed up. Okay, this guy right here is going to be HQM, and we're going to attach this floor to that ceiling over there. Okay. That is going to allow us to open it right here, even though we got a wall. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to want to close up our ceiling as well. First of all, let's close this up. This is going to be HQM. And this guy right here, and this, 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 all HQM. This gap, we need to close that up, and this gap right here. So place down a wall frame and make that HQM and rotate it. Okay, let's get out right here. Oh, this door frame is kind of in the way. Use garage doors. It's way better. Okay, and we're going to want to close this up. Okay, and in order to get that really easy from the ceiling is the best. You can use a uh, ceiling or you could use a floor frame. Doesn't matter. And right now, I'm going to show you that you can see on the TC there's no stone, right? No stone at all. And I'll prove to you that this is not connected right now. That's stone. No stone. Okay. We're going to connect this. So these are essentially two different structures. Okay. So we're going to connect this right here so that this wall and this roof, 15 rockets together to get through here. Okay. Now take a look. That stone is visible. It's connected to the base. All right. And it's still connected, right? This is the exploit. And that's how you create a double entrance roof bunker. Easy to do with any kind of footprint. And of course, protect that TC with multiple TCs around it 
and you're gonna be very happy. Keep in mind, you can actually enclose this entire footprint at the front, these four triangles, and this one triangle at the front right here. You can build entirely around this and close up the ceilings. There's no gaps at all. So a very flexible exploit. All you need are these four triangle foundations right here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Adawa. This is My Gaming Addiction. And if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button too. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys. Take care.